Right everyone, Web Factory here. Right, I'm going to carry on with my body armour tests that I've been doing. So I won't go over the full details of how this works today. You can always go back to the first video to find out how these tests are performed. So dropping this weight at this height produces 24 joules and that is exactly what the Home Office do for a KR1, which is knife resistant 1, stab protection level. So that's the lowest level recommended basically. So I'm now going to replicate those tests with different armour. So this is the armour we'll be testing today. It is the 15 pound body armour that I bought from eBay, classed as stab protection. This is what the body armour looks like. And it comes with metal plates inside, basically. So that is what we're going to test today. We're going to do one test first with this stuff, which is the KR1 stab protection panel I've got, just to show you what true KR1 can actually stop. Right, so we're just going to quickly test our, our sort of proof material. The one that will definitely withstand just to show you what you know KR1 can actually stop. And as you can see there, no penetration whatsoever. Nothing on that. Right, I've now taken the body armor panel out of the cover, put it in place, we'll now test that. So this is the cheap eBay body armour. So, it has come through a little bit. This will be the time to measure this now because 7mm penetration is classed as a pass still, but it's definitely come through. You see that? Try not to move it too much. Let me measure this. Right, that is uh, just about 5 to 7 mil. So that is technically still a pass. So I'm going to take that out and I'm going to do it again. Right, so this is test number two. And as you can see, that time it actually stopped it completely. I don't know if that hit on a part where there was overlaying parts. Let's just try that again quickly. Right, test number three. I've just resharpened the tip of this blade because one thing I would say about this body armour, it tends to blunt on the blade quite quickly because of it being a metal that the blade is hitting. So that's a good thing really. Because if it penetrates slightly the first time, the second time the blade will be blunt. And then it definitely won't penetrate. That's, I think that's what happened there. So resharpened the tip. Different part of the body armour, we'll try one more time. And again, bounced off. So I would say that's a success. This has passed. You can see the sharpened tip there, so it is sharp. Right, let's take a quick look at the panel. So, I'm pretty sure the tests I did was, this one here was the 7mm penetration one. This one was one of the ones that didn't penetrate more than a couple of millimetres. And the other one must have been this one down here that hit on one of these ridges and didn't really seem to do anything, I think. So these panels will actually stop knife resistant one threats. 
I wouldn't want to risk anything higher than that. Um, I suspect KR2 would go right through it. But that's your bare minimum, and that is supposed to be what the average person can, you know, that's the strength an average person can do, KR1. I've just noticed why this part, it didn't go through at all. This is double layered here. So this part here is double layered. That's why it didn't go through that even in the slightest. So the single layers, so that one section there would probably be KR2 or more. Um, all the rest I would say is KR1. Right, I would definitely say that the cheap body armour from eBay is definitely passable. I would say it's not as good as your standard KR1 vests that you can buy new, or probably even second hand, but it definitely did stop blade to the requirements in the tests I've just done. Three different tests, only one of them penetrated around about five to seven millimeter, which is deemed acceptable in a KR1 test. Don't forget, these have an upgrade panel in the front. If you put any sort of upgrade in that front part, this part here will be way over knife resistant one uh, protection then. But uh, yeah, I think if you can get these for less than 30 quid and you're on a massive budget, it's better than nothing. It will stop the average knife thrust. Um, but anything more than that, no. But I think it's definitely adequate, these vests, for the price if it's all you can get. So there you go. Cheap eBay body armour has actually passed the test. So later on in the series I'll be testing some other body armour materials, second hand body armours and homemade body armours. So don't forget to subscribe and then you won't miss future tests. Alright? So before I go, if you ever wanted to support this channel you can and it will help me create these tests because it does cost money to do these things and I've been completely demonetized on YouTube. So there's a thing called coffee.com, you'll see a link here and in the description and you can just donate a bit of money via your PayPal and it just goes straight into my PayPal, no sign up or anything. And there'll be a little video coming up now. Alright, so thank you for watching, see you later.